Hey everyone, it's DG, and let's be real for a second. Are you making costly mistakes with your money without even realizing it? We've all been there, right? That's why, today, we're uncovering the top five money mistakes people make and how you can avoid them to secure your financial future. So many people make these mistakes and it ends up costing them thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. The good news is, you don't have to be one of them. Let's get right into it. One of the biggest advantages we have when it comes to building wealth is time, specifically time in the market. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow exponentially thanks to the power of compound interest. Think of it like this, if you start investing even just $100 a month when you're 20 years old, by the time you're 30, that money has had 10 years to grow. But if you wait until you're 30 to start investing that same $100 a month, you've lost out on 10 years of potential growth. It's one of the biggest money mistakes to avoid in your 20s. Now I know what you might be thinking, but Graham, I'm young. I have plenty of time to start saving later. And while it's true that you don't need to start panicking about retirement in your early 20s, the sooner you start, the easier it will be. Because life happens. You might have unexpected expenses, you might decide to travel the world, or you might want to buy a house. All of these things require money. And if you haven't been saving, it can be really tough to make those financial goals a reality. Plus, the earlier you start saving, the less you'll have to save overall. That's because when you start early, your money has more time to grow, which means you don't have to put away as much each month to reach your goals. It's like planting a tree. The earlier you plant it, the bigger and stronger it will grow. So, if you're in your 20s, I know it can be tempting to spend all of your money on experiences and fun things. And while there's definitely a balance to be had, it's crucial to start thinking about your financial future now. Even if it's just setting aside a small amount each month, it will make a huge difference in the long run. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Let's be honest, the word budget doesn't exactly spark joy in most people. It sounds restrictive, boring, and maybe even a little bit scary. But here's the thing. Budgeting isn't about restricting yourself. It's about understanding where your money is going and making sure it's working for you. It's one of the simplest yet most overlooked financial mistakes to avoid. Think of it like this. If you were going on a road trip, you wouldn't just hop in your car and start driving without a map or a plan, right? You'd figure out your destination, plan your route, and maybe even budget for gas and food along the way. Your finances are the same way. Without a budget, you're essentially driving blind, and that can lead to overspending, debt, and a whole lot of financial stress. So how do you actually create a budget? Well, the good news is it's easier than you might think. There are tons of apps and websites out there that can help you track your spending, or you can go old school and use a spreadsheet or even just a notebook. The most important thing is to find a system that works for you and stick with it. Start by tracking your income and expenses for a month or two to get a clear picture of where your money is going. Then categorize your spending into needs and wants. Needs are things like rent, groceries, and transportation, while wants are things like eating out, entertainment, and shopping. Once you have a good understanding of your spending habits, you can start setting realistic goals and making adjustments. Maybe you realize you're spending way more on takeout than you thought, or maybe you find that you can cut back on your monthly subscription services. The key is to be honest with yourself about your spending and find areas where you can save. Remember, budgeting isn't about deprivation. It's about being intentional with your money so you can achieve your financial goals. Whether it's buying a house, traveling the world, or just having peace of mind, a budget can help you get there. Investing can seem intimidating, especially if you're not sure where to start. There's so much information out there, and it's easy to feel overwhelmed or make costly mistakes. Believe me, I've been there. Early on in my investing journey, I made some pretty bad decisions that cost me thousands of dollars. But hey, that's how we learn, right? One of the biggest mistakes people make is investing in things they don't understand. It's like trying to bake a cake without a recipe. You might get lucky and end up with something edible, but chances are it's going to be a disaster. Before you invest in anything, whether it's stocks, bonds, real estate, or anything else, take the time to educate yourself. Understand the risks involved, the potential rewards, and make sure it aligns with your overall financial goals. Another common mistake is trying to time the market. We've all seen the headlines about the stock market going up or down, and it can be tempting to try to buy low and sell high. But the truth is, 
Even professional investors struggle to time the market consistently. Instead of trying to predict the unpredictable, focus on a long-term investment strategy. This means investing consistently over time, regardless of what the market is doing in the short term. Diversification is also key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Instead, spread your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. This helps to reduce your overall risk and protect your portfolio from market volatility. Finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're feeling lost or overwhelmed, consider working with a financial advisor. A good advisor can help you create a personalized investment plan that aligns with your goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. Life is full of surprises, and unfortunately, not all of them are good ones. Your car could break down, you could lose your job, or you could face an unexpected medical bill. These situations are stressful enough on their own, but they can be even more overwhelming if you're not financially prepared. That's where an emergency fund comes in. An emergency fund is essentially a safety net that can help you cover unexpected expenses without going into debt. It's one of the most important financial mistakes to avoid, yet so many people neglect to build one. Think of it like insurance for your finances. You hope you never have to use it, but you'll be grateful you have it if you do. So how much should you have in your emergency fund? A good rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of living expenses saved up. This may seem like a lot, especially if you're just starting out, but it's important to remember that this is your financial safety net. It's there to protect you in case of a job loss, medical emergency, or any other unexpected event that could disrupt your income. Start by setting a realistic savings goal for yourself and break it down into smaller, more manageable chunks. Even if you can only afford to save $50 or $100 per month, it's a step in the right direction. As you start to make progress, you'll be amazed at how quickly your emergency fund grows. Remember, building an emergency fund takes time and discipline, but it's one of the best things you can do for your financial well-being. It's about having peace of mind, knowing that you're prepared for whatever life throws your way. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day hustle and forget about the bigger picture. But when it comes to your finances, long-term planning is crucial. Whether it's saving for retirement, buying a house, or achieving any other major financial goal, having a plan in place can make all the difference. One of the biggest money mistakes to avoid in your 30s and 40s is neglecting to plan for retirement. Time is your biggest asset when it comes to retirement savings, and the sooner you start, the better. Take advantage of employer-sponsored retirement plans like 401ks, especially if your employer offers matching contributions. It's essentially free money. Beyond retirement, think about other long-term goals you might have. Do you want to buy a house? Start a family? Travel the world? These goals require financial planning and saving. Break down your goals into smaller, more achievable steps and create a timeline for yourself. This will help you stay motivated and on track. It's also important to review and adjust your financial plan periodically. Life is full of changes, and your financial plan should reflect those changes. Got married? Had a baby? Got a raise? All of these events can impact your financial situation, so it's important to adjust your plan accordingly. Remember, long-term financial planning is not about predicting the future. It's about being prepared for whatever the future may hold. By setting clear goals, creating a plan, and staying disciplined, you can achieve financial security and live the life you've always dreamed of. So there you have it, the top five money mistakes to avoid. Failing to start saving early, not budgeting, making poor investment choices, overlooking emergency funds, and ignoring long-term planning. These are all common pitfalls that can derail your financial progress. But the good news is, by being aware of these mistakes and taking steps to avoid them, you can set yourself up for financial success. Take some time to assess your own financial habits. Are you guilty of any of these mistakes? If so, don't beat yourself up about it. The important thing is to identify areas where you can improve and take action. Remember, even small changes can make a big difference over time. My final piece of advice, start today. Don't wait for the perfect time to get your finances in order. The sooner you start, the better off you'll be. Make a budget, start saving, and invest in your future. You've got this. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more financial tips and advice. 
and share it with anyone else who might benefit from avoiding these costly money mistakes. Until next time, stay informed, stay motivated, and take control of your financial future.